What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through this tricky area question. So take a second to read through this. We want to find the area of S, which is a loon, and what I would do first is label. We have BC is four units long. We have AB is four radical two units long, and we're told that we have semicircles with diameters AB and CD like this. So what I would do from here is I would label these points, and let's call this point up here point O, and we'll call this point P because anytime you're given semicircles, it's always good to identify the center. And what I wanna do first is I'm gonna find the radius. So we have OB is the radius of the top semicircle is half of the diameter. So if you do four radical two divided by two, you're gonna get two square root two. So now we could find the area of the semicircle with center O, we'll just indicate it like this. And that's gonna be pi times the radius squared, and then we're dividing it by two because it's a semicircle. Now the radius, once again, is two square root two. So if we do two squared, we get four. Radical two squared gives us two, and then four times two is eight. So we have eight pi divided by two is equal to four pi. So now what I wanna do next, I wanna look at all four of these points. So we have this point here, the center, the center, and then the intersection of the circle that's tangent to A, B, and C, D, and that crosses through the intersection point of the two semicircles. And I wanna connect these four points. So now remember, OB was two radical two, and since these all go from the center to a point on the semicircle, I could say that all of these are two square root two like this. But what I have here is, if I do the same thing down here, this is also two square root two all around, is that I have a square. Now some people might look at that and say, wait a minute, how do you know that all of these angles are also 90 degrees? How do we know that this is not necessarily a rhombus? Well, what we could do for a quick check here is if I draw in this line, going horizontally, and I draw in this line here going vertically. I'm gonna have a right angle here. And remember, this circle was tangent to A, B, and C, D. But what we have is, since the entire distance from here to like B, C, like this is four, the halfway distance would be two, because this was drawn with, with nice symmetry here, so this would be two. And then to find this missing side here, X, I just know that it's gonna be two, and if I wanna verify, I could use Pythagorean theorem to find that this is two, but I'll just verify that it is true. Two squared plus two squared has to be equal to this red line here, the hypotenuse of this right triangle squared. So we have two radical two squared, and notice that gives us, we're gonna have four plus four equals eight. So this checks out that this here would be two and two, and then this would tell us this is an isosceles triangle, because both sides here are the same. It's an isosceles right triangle. So this angle would be 45 degrees. And then this angle over here would also be 45 degrees because I could do the similar thing here by drawing in another right triangle. So that's how I know for sure this angle over here is 90 degrees. So now the next thing I wanna find here is what is this distance going straight across? So notice here, this is the diameter of our inside circle here. So I'll draw the center of our inside circle. And let's say we just call this over here, this is point Q. So now what we have is if I want to find the length of the diameter of this circle with center Q, what I could do is I could use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'll redraw that inside right triangle. We have this right triangle here, and the legs are going to be length 2 square root 2. So this is coming from point O like this. That's the right triangle I'm referring to. And this is also 2 square root 2. So if I call that C for a moment, then what we have is we have C squared is equal to 2 radical 2 squared plus 2 radical 2 squared. And if we work this out, c squared is going to be equal to, we have 8 plus 8 is 16. And if we take the square root of both sides, that tells us c is equal to 4. So the inside circle has a diameter of 4. So now what I want to do next, I want to focus on this sector here. So I'm going to be looking at this sector of, notice our semicircle down here at point P, that we could draw in this sector in purple. And what that's going to help us do is it's going to help us find the area of these two regions here. So let's say I give this a labeling. I'm going to give this, I'm going to call this region V, and I'm going to call that region W. So what I'm going to find first is the area of that purple sector, which is going to be, remember, this is a 90 degree angle because we have a square on the inside, but we have pi times the radius squared. The radius is, to, is still 2 square root 2, and that's being squared, but notice this is 90 degrees. So the thought process here for this sector is if I take 90 degrees out of a full circle is 360, I'm taking one-fourth of the full circle. So I would just divide by four. 
So this is still eight, so I have eight times pi over four, and that's gonna give us two pi. But now, the next thing that we should find here is what is the area of this triangle here? So the area of this triangle here that we're highlighting, we could find by using one half base times height. So we're gonna have the area of the triangle equals one half base times height, but the base and height are both two radical two because those are the two sides that are separated by a right angle. So I have one half times these two values here. Remember two radical two times itself is still eight and then eight times one, one half is gonna give us four. So now what I could do is to find the area of region V, I'm gonna do the area of the purple sector. So we have the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle we just found. If you just focus on that here, notice V, that little space here is the purple minus that triangle. So I have the area of region V is equal to two pi minus the area of the triangle is four. And now what I could do with this is I'm gonna find the area of the inside circle. So the area of the circle with center Q is equal to pi times, remember the diameter was four, so the radius of circle Q is gonna be two. So I have pi times two squared, which is gonna give us four pi. So now think about this carefully. The entire circle, if I subtract two times the value of V, that's gonna give me the area of the two loons. So next I'm gonna find what is the area of two times region S. That's the area of the circle with center Q minus the area of, we have two times region V. So I'm gonna have two times the area of region V like this. So once again, the circle minus two of those region Vs will give us the area of the two loons like this. So now let's just plug in, we have four pi minus, and we have two times the area of region V was two pi minus four. And if we simplify that, that tells us we have the area of two of the loons is we have four pi, that's gonna give us minus four pi plus eight. So that's just gonna give us eight. So that tells us we could close this out, the area of S, we're just gonna take half of the area of two of the loons, and the area of S is gonna be equal to four square units.